Hello folks, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain adventure. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's adventure is a little bit different. We're up in the heart of the Cairngorm National Park over at a place called Braemar and we're in the grounds of Balmoral uh, and we're going to go and find Prince Albert's Cairn which in actual fact is a pyramid or well, it certainly looks like a pyramid anyway so with no further ado we've got a bit of a climb up through the uh, up through this beautiful woodland here and we're going to go and find the various different cairns and most of all let's go and have a look at this pyramid Well, what an absolutely beautiful forest this is. This is the Balmoral Estate. Um, the hike is, um, is not too long. In actual fact, about 20 minutes from the car park, you come to the first cairn. There's actually 16 cairns here, which commemorate the marriages of Queen Victoria's children. And um, they're dotted about all over the place. I think the whole hike's around about two to three hours. I haven't got time for the full hike today, but we're certainly heading up past a few and the big one being, of course, the, uh, the pyramid at the top. Um, the pyramid itself is actually a cairn and uh, it was erected in 1878 by Queen Victoria in memory of her late husband, Albert, uh, and it was a big love affair. Um, in actual fact, I think she, she went into mourning for the rest of her life uh, after he passed and only wore black clothes as well, um, from what I remember from some of the research that I've done. So it's, uh, yeah, uh, it, we're in a, it's a beautiful forest, we've got a beautiful day uh, and I'm hoping to get the drone up and really show you this, uh, this Prince Albert's cairn up the top. So like I say, not far up the track here and we're actually at the first cairn here. Let's go and have a look. Well guys, this is the first one that you come to, like I say, it's only a 20 minute walk or so from the car park to get here. Uh, this one commemorates the marriage um, of Princess Beatrice uh, to Henry uh, Neopold Morris of Battenberg on the 23rd of July 1885. Uh, these are fantastic structures and it's in such a beautiful setting as well. I must have taken, uh, taken a bit of building and this has stood the test of time. Yeah, so this is the, the first, the first of the 16 that you come to on this, uh, on this woodland pass. So we're going to follow this track all the way through here and we'll see what else we can find. And the pyra pyramid itself, the Prince Albert's Cairn, the main one, is high up on Ripe Hill. So that's going to be the, uh, that's going to be the end game today. Um, it's actually very, very easy walk. It's accessible. Um, it's not too steep. Uh, and it's not too far, certainly, to get to Prince Albert's Cairn. The rest of the hike that goes right the way around, like I said, is about three hours or so. But I haven't got time for that this morning. But, uh, what a day, right? Let's go and have a look over here. One absolutely beautiful woodland. So if you're going to come here, it's about an hour's drive from Aviemore. In actual fact, I think it's only about 24 miles away from Aviemore, but the, uh, the roads are absolutely beautiful. But it does take about an hour. You wouldn't want to rush, it's so beautiful. And when you get down to the main car park, it's five pound, and that gives you all day, which I don't suppose really is too bad. And that gives you access to this whole area. Uh, it doesn't get you into the grounds, of course, Balmore. If you want to do that, you've got to pay extra. I'll put the link in the description for you, for Balmoral Castle. But this walk is fantastic. Beautiful pine forest. And I don't think it's too much further up here. Before we get to Prince Albert's Cairn, I think that's the next one. Fantastic. Hey mate. Wow. Be careful, man. <laughs> you obviously know what you're doing. <laughs> what a guy.
Wow, what a place. And we've really got the day for it as well, like I said earlier. It's Prince Albert's Cairn. And the inscription which is on the cairn here. To the beloved memory of Albert, the great and good Prince Consort, erected by his broken-hearted widow, Victoria, 21st of August, 1862. What a place. Yeah, like we're saying, erected by Queen Victoria for Prince Albert. And I suppose if you're going to build something to commemorate the life of your loved one, um, you might as well do it in style. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I've just had a bit uh, a bit mooch around there. Um, I've pretty much got the place to myself, apart from the, cl <laughs> the climber. I can't believe he was up on the top of there. Rather him than me, like I didn't mind a bit scrambling, but that was mental. Uh, and there's another uh, couple, I think, just mooching around there. This is this is really like, for me, the best part. And looking out across the mountain range here, this is still the Cairngorm National Park, which of course is the biggest and the oldest national park in the United Kingdom. And it's absolutely stunning. I was just going to head back down to the car park, but I think actually what I'm going to do is it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now. I did set off early. I got here early doors. In actual fact, I think I'm going to do a little bit of the loop around. I think it takes us down into the grounds of Balmoral. Hopefully the gate's open and we can wait and get out. If not, I'm going to have to climb over a fence or something. <laughs> or do a river crossing. <laughs> or come back the way that I've come. Anyway, we'll give it a go. While I'm here, I might as well show you around there. Right, let's go. Right guys, basically what's happened is <laughs> I've taken a wrong turn and I'm now on the way back to the car park. Mad isn't it, I can be up in the hills in the middle of nowhere and I don't get lost. I come to this little walk <laughs> where really you kind of go wrong. Anyway, um, we're not going to see the rest of the cairns. In fairness, they're not in comparison to the, uh, to the, big, uh, the big cairn, the pyramid. And uh, thank you for seeing that. But what I am going to try and do, I'm going to try and get into Balmoral Castle itself. I don't mean break in. <laughs> I mean pay for a ticket with the Queen's money. Wait, well, my money. £16.50 gets us access, so I'm going to see if I can get in. Uh, that's if it's open. Fingers crossed. Let's give it a go. We're in, <laughs> and I paid as well, I didn't jump over the fence. Uh, we'll have a look at the map, let's see where we're going here. So we're somewhere around here, I'm just going to follow that across over the castle. Gift Muse is a riverside walk, conservatory, kitchen gardens, various little bits and bobs. So, off we go, let's go and have a look. So the first thing to come to, this is what looks to be the conservatory. And the rest of the gardens coming over here. There's a sign up saying uh, the King's going to redevelop this area. I must admit, if this is the conservatory, it's not very grand. My mum and dad's conservatory is bigger than that. <laughs> right, let's have a wander around. Right, looks like we've got the first view of the castle. 
had a look at uh, some of the old buildings there. They're all shut. Let's have a look. There we go. Flags flying as well. Pretty impressive building. Gardens are beautiful as well. I hope we can get into the castle. Must be able to. Let's go and have a look. No oh, I beg your pardon. Well, there's no way to get into the castle, but it is absolutely stunning. So I think what we'll do is we'll get ourselves a cup of coffee. Probably be about ten quid. Well guys, that's about it. I've wandered around about as much of uh, the grounds as possible. Uh, £16.50 gets you entry and I would have thought you would have been able to get access and actually walk around the inside the castle itself, but you cannot. It's closed off. The only place you can get into is the ballroom, but I got told off by the woman for, for, for videoing. Uh, you're not allowed to video or take any photographs in any of the, any of the buildings at all. Um, I went for a, a cup of coffee and a cheese sandwich. <laughs> I came to 10 quid. <laughs> And everybody's talking about scones. It's not my cup of tea at all. Basically, I prefer being out up in the mountains. But it has been a class day up at the uh, uh, up at the Cairns and wandering around there. That was absolutely fantastic. And it is nice to come and wander around the gardens. It is worthwhile, you know, if you're in the area. Sixteen pound fifty for an adult. Um, it gets you a nice wander around the gardens. The gardens are absolutely lovely in all fairness. So I'm going to have a follow the riverside walk, and I'm going to head back down to the car now. And then it's the five-hour drive back home. Folks, uh, that's me. I've um, I've come away from Balmoral. The car park was absolutely rammed with uh, tourists going to have a wander around the uh, wander around the castle and what have you. Uh, I'm just up near um, Glenshee Ski Resort here. I've just pulled over. It's a beautiful little valley. This and this whole road leading back down towards Perth and on the way home now is absolutely fantastic. Anyway, uh, folks, I hope you've enjoyed that one. A nice wander up to the Cairn and then a look around uh, Balmoral as much as we could, that is. Um, £16.50, I've got mixed feelings about it. It's a nice walk around the grounds, but in actual fact, when you've done the cairn, if you do the proper route where I mixed up uh, this time round, you can actually wander around the grounds for now anyway. You can't get into the castle. Plus, everybody's saying scone. Everybody's saying scone. And of course, everybody knows it's scone. <laughs> anyway, folks... Uh, I'm going to sign off here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, as always, you know how important it is to forget about the news and the doom and gloom and the newspaper, the radio, Facebook, social media, all of the doom and gloom that's going on. Get out of, into beautiful places like this and soak up a bit of prescription nature. Until next time, guys. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next adventure. Fantastic. Fantastic.